yes in the last lecture we discussed c tokens and we are continuing it so the next one is variables first thing is what are variables variables are the basic unit for storage in c anything that we want to store we need to take a variable to hold it these are the units which allocates or which gets some space in memory so let's see how to declare a variable because before storing or before getting any value into a variable we need to declare a variable and there is a pre specified format that is known as syntax syntax refers to a general format in which we are going to do anything so for declaring variables we have the syntax data types first we need to mention the data type the type of data that the variable is going to hold next is you need to mention the variable name it is the name by which it this variable will be identified throughout the program and the next thing is the value that is optional this thing that i have written in the square brackets is optional so we were discussing c tokens and the next token is variables what are variables actually these are the basic unit of storage in c any data that we want to store or we want to compute on is stored in a variable so uh, before using the variable or before getting the value into the variable we need to declare them so this is the basic syntax for declaring a variable syntax is what syntax is the general format for writing any instruction in the language the first thing that will come is data type the type of data that we are going to hold in a particular variable then the name of the variable this is an identifier this name will be or the variable will be identified in the whole program by this name the next thing is the value that we are going to assign the variable this is optional while declaring a variable it means if we wish if we have the value at the time of declaration we can give the value to the variable and if we don't have the uh, value then we can later assign the value now we can uh, see some examples as well first example i have taken int roll equals 1 we can compare this example with the syntax given int is the data type that this variable is going to hold that is the variable roll will hold the data of integer type this is the name of the variable then this is the value assignment equals 1 so i am assigning this variable a value 1 what this statement will do this statement will reserve two bytes for roll in the memory why two bytes because we are taking the size of integer as two bytes so roll will take two bytes in the memory and one will be assigned to the value whenever we are going to use this variable in our program the value will be one next example i have taken as float if we are uh, taking some data as floating variable full floating type then we need to write the data type as float then the name of the variable in this case i have omitted the initial value i have not given any initial value to marks later on i can assign it or i can take it from the user as well <laughs> now the third category th third example i can say i have taken character character is for storing single character i have taken the name as ch equal to a uh, the values those will be assigned to integer float will be without quotations but the values that i am assigning or initializing to a character var uh, variable will be in single quotes as you can see i have put single quotes around a so these are the basic examples <clears throat> now there are two further more terms related to variables one is initialization and one is assignment initialization we have already seen if you want to give the value at the time of declaration that value will be initialized to the variable this is known as initialization and if at any later instruction or at, at later stage i am giving the variable a value then it is known as assignment in this case for example i have declared int n later on i am giving n a value then this is known as assignment <laughs>